If you did an interview with everybody that worked in our administration, almost everybody walks into an Oval Office and gets cotton in their mouth. And I said, well, this can't be my office. It's obviously a mistake. On Capitol Hill, at least, you knew, you knew when you were out of session, you were out of session. And when you had a break, you had a break. When I went to the White House, there is no break. You're never off job. You're never not at the White House, even when you're sleeping. People really viewed it as a once-in-a-lifetime shot, and you would have a life and, a, and sleep after. I just felt every day that it was such a privilege to be there. The decisions that you help frame have a power and a might and a significance that is pretty awesome at times. And you think, oh my God, we're running the country? <laughs> There's a lot of ways to screw up. Well, when I moved from one end of Pennsylvania Avenue to the other end and occupied the Oval Office, my perspective changed significantly. Uh, what is a problem is if you tell the president something that is very contrary to his opinions and very contrary to what he'd like to hear. And so if you take a chance and fail, you know, there's no doubt there's a deleterious effect on your popularity. Whereas if you take a chance and, and succeed, it's very good. There's always a danger you have to take. There's room up on Mount Rushmore for one more face. <laughs> and if you do well, you might get there. And I must tell you, the day I walked out of the White House, I was more idealistic than the day I walked in.